So you want to get started podcasting and you don't know what to do just yet. Well, my name is Monte Lee. This is the Carrot Juice Podcast. And in this video, I'm going to give you five tips that you need to know to get started podcasting. So I don't want to waste your time. I'm going to get right to it. Before we do that, do me a favor as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you would do me this favor, I'd really appreciate it. Just like the video and we'll get to it. So the first tip that I wanted to share with you is this. When starting a podcast, the first thing you need to know is, do you have an audience? Do you know who you're going to be speaking to? Do you already have an idea of what you want to say? This is not something that's not necessary to get started. You don't have to know this stuff, but I would encourage you to have an idea of who you want your audience to be. And why am I saying that? I am saying that because if you know who you're going to be speaking with, if you know who the audience is that is going to be listening to your content, it will help you be able to curate and organize your thoughts, organize your content to be able to best serve that audience. An example of that is let's say you're starting a podcast about audio and you're really into specifically vintage radios and scanners. Over time, you speaking about audio and speaking about vintage radios, you will start to be known for that. And as you continue to get better at your craft, get better at speaking, as time goes past, you will eventually become an expert and authority on the topic of audio and vintage radios. And then people who are like-minded and enjoy vintage radios will find your podcast and then you will be able to best serve that type of listener. It helps you to be able to have a focus, a direction with your content. So before getting started, you should be thinking about who your target audience is. Okay. Secondly, what you need to be doing is you need to tell a story when you're podcasting. What do I mean by that? Any form of content, no matter what you're doing, whether you're in movies, TVs, podcasting, YouTube, people are drawn to a story. Myself, I really love documentaries. I really love like true crime based or investigative biographical documentaries. And those always do a stellar job if they're entertaining and well liked and acclaimed of telling a story of gripping you in the ups downs of somebody's life or an event. You need to be doing the same thing when you're podcasting, how do you do that? Well, come in, hear me out. I'll give you guys a little bit of insight as to why I got started podcasting. So I got started podcasting because when I was in college, I worked at a landscaping company during the summertime. If you're not familiar with landscaping, it's some pretty hard work and it could definitely get really hot out there when you're shoveling dirt, you're uh, planting trees, you're working near asphalt and all that, it could really be a demanding job. But a lot of that work is monotonous at times. So I fell in love with audio by listening to audio books on Audible while I was doing that job. I listened to Stephen King's It and I loved how that story, and it was a 50 hour audio book or something like that. That story drew me in because the depth and the complexity of all the characters and the timeline of events and how everything came together ultimately so beautifully. I, I don't know if you've ever heard this before, but I was listening to it, but a movie was playing out in my mind at that time. So the power of audio had been revealed to me while I was working in college landscaping in the summertime. That's a story uh, behind why I'm doing what I'm doing because I've drawn to audio. I really appreciate the format and I've heard people say that I have a good voice. I'll let you be the judge of that. But 
tell a story, figure out how to tell a story. You can get better at it over time. And I would say what I did and what you should do if you're interested in podcasting is when you're watching a movie or if you're watching TV, you should start paying attention to some of the elements of storytelling that directors are putting on screen in front of you, what other content creators are doing, what other podcasters are doing with, from podcasts that you listen to. This could all be helpful and it's something that you continue to have to work on all the time. All right. So get used to and familiar with storytelling and try to improve your ability to do that each and every uh, episode you make and each and every day in general. And the other thing that I wanted to tie into that is make sure that you're listening to other podcasters that you, and, and what you do is listen to a podcast in a category that you plan on making your podcast in and try to see if you can take some of those topics or ideas and twist them and add your spin onto the content so that you are not just starting from scratch. That's a good helpful tool for a lot of people just starting out, okay? Number one is, do you have a target audience? Tip number two, tell a story, and we're moving along here. The third tip is you need to add value to people. And what do I mean by that? What I mean is, a way that you can add value to people is you need to be able to keep your audience engaged, but you also need to be able to add uh, value to them by what are your hobbies? What is something that you could teach them? What is something that you could uh, curate for them and give to them that they didn't know? So further explanation of that is, do you have like a product for a business? Are you a business owner? Are you a freelancer? Do you do art? Do you do photography? Um, are you an accountant? What is a skill that you have that you could bring forth to the world? And how could you tie that into your podcast to be able to add value to others? For instance, let's say you are a graphic designer. You could uh, put some of your prints out. You could put some of the work that you have done out, and then you could tie that into a digital course to teach people how to do graphic design. And your podcast, for instance, could be about how to be a graphic designer and how to grow as a freelancer. This is just me spitballing this right off the rip, but you're adding value to people for free. And in return for that, of you adding value, what you'll be able to do is offer a free digital product or course and you in return would ask for an email. So then eventually you could build an email list and that's a way as a podcast that you could be able to communicate with your audience to be able to grow and eventually establish a community. So the third thing you need to be doing is adding value to your listeners. And this is not something you can do right off the bat, but it's something you need to be thinking about because it can really help you to be able to grow as a brand and as a podcast over time. The fourth thing that you need to be doing is making sure, come here, make sure that you hear me out with this. You need to be making sure that you are paying attention to your audio. Audio is king when it comes to podcasts. It's people cannot deal with bad audio. You can't have snap, crackle, pop audio. You can't have a lot of background noise in the background. And when you're going back over and through your podcast and figuring out uh, trying to edit it and trying to make sure that everything is sounding good and sounding clear you are going to notice all of those things and you're going to realize that yeah i need to make sure my audio is good so what's the solution to that the solution is you want to make sure that you're recording your podcast in a environment that is not noise written and fueled with noise if the, if you have carpet in the room that you're recording in, that's great. Um, you can get sound paneling. Uh, easy step for beginners that a lot of people do is you can actually record your podcast in a closet because that helps to dampen sound. So make sure that you're in a, a environment that has the least noise as you could possibly uh, find. Secondly, you need to invest in a microphone. 
And I would say you don't need to break the bank with this microphone, but a good quality microphone for beginners that I've heard a lot of people talk about is the Samson Q2U, which it is a dynamic microphone and it has two different inputs, which is great, where it's a USB input and an XLR. So for the USB portion, that's great for beginners because you literally can take that USB, plug it right into your computer or your iPad or your mobile device. And it also has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So you could plug that in as well and monitor your audio. And you can use a podcasting platform, whatever one you choose, and you're off to the races and you're podcasting. Also, when it comes to audio and when it comes to how do you distribute your podcast, I have a video about that on how to start a podcast, but I'll just, just uh, ring off some names here. I use Anchor to distribute my podcast. That's an affiliate of Spotify, but you also use companies like Buzzsprout. Um, there's a bunch. Buzzsprout is another one that I know of. Anchor. If you just do a Google search, you can find a lot of different distribution platforms to be able to push your podcast out. You could do it directly through Google. You could do it directly through Apple. Either one of those will work for you. Anchor is free. That's why I chose that one. And I like that it was affiliated with Spotify and it has a very easy app to be able to edit and put everything out just with the app. Think about what you want to do to distribute your podcast, but investing in a USB microphone such as the Samsung Q2U, I think it's $80 is a great investment and that's all you really need to get started. That's the fourth tip. The fifth tip and in closing, it's don't let perfectionism hinder you from starting a podcast. I want you to know, and I just want to make sure that I'm being transparent when I say we all have some anxiety when it comes to creating content, getting out of our shell. It's not easy to be here in a room, speaking to a camera, speaking into a microphone by myself. It, it's really hard. When I first got started, I was not even looking at the camera properly. I was like looking over into the corner at the monitor because I'm it's not a normal thing to do to look at a lens and have presence when you're speaking in a microphone. But over time, I promise you, you will get better at it because just like with anything, I like to use this analogy. Steph Curry is the greatest NBA basketball player to shoot ever. He's the greatest NBA shooter ever, right? Just broke the all time three point record, okay? But one thing that you don't know about Stephen Curry as well is he's missed thousands upon thousands of shots and he does not make every shot that he takes. And the reason why he's so great and he's become the greatest shooter ever is repetition and working on his craft, being consistent and showing up every day to get better. You could use the same approach when it comes to podcasting. You just need to show up. You just need to focus on getting better. And if there's something that you don't know about, or if you're not aware of, use the internet as a tool and a resource. YouTube is great. Google is great. I did a lot of uh, researching on how to make my audio sound better, how to plan my content. Should I be writing a script or should I be outlining what I want to talk about? Me, scripts don't work. I like to do bullet points and kind of have a rough outline of the points that I want to hit during my content, during my podcast and what have you, but that's all based on your style. But one thing that you need to know and that you should do is you should just get started. And podcasting is a great thing for people because it is not a saturated market. It's under, it might have just got over 1 million podcasts in 2021, but conversely, when it comes to like YouTube channels and what have you, there's like over a hundred million different content creators in regards to YouTube and in the video space, but in the podcasting space, it's still fairly new and it's a lot of opportunity for growth. If you are willing to get out of your shell, come up with a plan, figure out what you want to speak about and just doing it. So I encourage you to do that this year. If you have any questions about what you need to do getting started with the podcast, anything you're unsure about, I'll try to let you know as much as I can because I want to help you guys speak your mind, express yourself, and let the world know what you have to say. 
I'm glad I did it when it came to podcasting. I started back in February, so it's been about a year as of today. I mean, I posted a podcast episode every week since I started. I show up every week and my podcast comes out on Tuesdays. You can listen to it anywhere you find podcasts. I look forward to hearing from you guys and hearing what you have to say. And let me know what the name of your podcast is in the description. I can't wait to speak with you guys and develop uh, our voices in the coming years to come. And I think that's a great place to close it. And I hope that you guys are doing well. I'll see you in the next video. And until next time, peace.